Here we're going to tie a fly called the Hobo Spay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get some pink thread started here. You can use a variety of different color threads. I like to use a bright thread on the head of the fly. But some people use black, so we're going to tie a black one here. You can also use purple. You can really do whatever you want. All I'm doing is I'm closing the rear portion of this shank. I'm using a 40 millimeter intruder shank. Once we have that closed, we're going to add some black intruder wire. And we're going to add this and we're going to let it extend oh, about an inch and a half off the rear of the shank. We're going to tie this wire in on each side of the shank, not on the top or the bottom, actually on the side. And uh, you can just hold your hook up here and make sure that it'll clear. Or you can actually thread it through. Looks like, yeah, it'll clear just fine. And if you want, you can make it just a hair longer. Then you're going to tie this wire all the way back to the rear of the shank here. Making sure it's secured on each side. We're going to take it forward. I'll actually pull them to the bottom. Once I get about halfway up or so, I'm going to take that wire. I'm going to double over itself on the bottom of the shank and lay down a few more wraps. Then I have a crummy pair of scissors here. I'm just going to use that to trim off that wire. Don't use your nice fancy pair of scissors. That's a good way to to ruin them. Oop, little sharp piece of wire. Got to cover up that sharp end of wire that we just cut without breaking the thread. Once you have this all secured, you take your thread all the way up to the loop of the eye and take it back. We're going to take our thread all the way back to the rear. Now we're ready to dub a little spot at the rear. And I'm just going to use some STS tri lobal dubbing. And we're just going to build a little ball here. So I'm just going to spin it onto the thread. I just build up a little bit of a ball, adding a little bit each time. STS is actually a pretty slippery dubbing and can be a bit tricky to work with. It's best if when tied in chunks and little stages. chunk. I want it to be oh, about a quarter to an eighth of the length of the shank. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're ready to tie in our guinea feather and I've stripped off all the fluffy portion of the quill. And then I'm going to stroke these fibers backwards on the quill or the stem. That exposes the tip of the feather. I'm just going to tie that tip of the, the guinea feather right in there. You can lash it all the way down. Now I'm just going to make a dubbing loop here with my thread.
The reason I use a dubbing loop here is we're going to dub the rest of this body with some purple dubbing. And to do that all by hand, like I just did on the back, would take way too long and be fairly difficult. So I just take out a generous clump of purple dubbing here. And I spread it along the length of the loop. And I close the loop. Spin it all together. Use a hackle plier to to grab it. and I can capture it once I've gotten up the shank of the hook. And I didn't quite make it all the way, so I just do a second small one here. At this point, I'll actually begin to close the eye of that loop. Now that we have the body dubbed, we're going to take this guinea and I'm just going to get these fibers to lay backwards just by taking the tip of my scissor here, kind of kinking them, kinking them backwards. And we're going to take this guinea and we're only going to get, usually I only get about three or four turns out of this guinea as I go forward. So you're going to want to space these turns out a fair amount. Really spiraling them forward. capture that stem and secure it. You gently stroke those guinea feathers backwards. Now we're ready for our marabou. We're going to use some extra select nice long marabou not the woolly bugger marabou stuff's a little bit different we're going to tie this in by the tip take my thread forward now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this and palmer it 
In each wrap, I'm going to pull the fibers backwards. That way the marabou will lay back. We're only going to do about four or five turns. And what I can do is draw some of the marabou that I have here on the stem back. This will make it easier for me to tie it off here. And I can just capture the marabou. Stroke all of it back. Now we're ready for our Amherst. We're just going to use a clump of natural Amherst here. I'm going to cut out all oh, about half an inch of or so of Amherst. And we're going to tie this Amherst in, in clumps into the fly. We're going to tie it in four clumps, two clumps on each side, and then two clumps on the bottom and top, or one clump on the top and one clump on the bottom. And we want to tie this Amherst in nice and long. We want this to extend past all of our material. And I just do this in individual clumps. I think some people actually do put it in a dubbing loop and will spin it into the fly, but I just tie it in clumps. And you got to be careful not to overdo it. You don't want to put too much on. I usually just have little clumps of three, four pieces. I try to tie them in with a little bit of natural curve, kind of going with the fly. Then the last step is to add some flash. For this, we're going to use some black flashaboo. We're going to tie this in. We're going to have a clump of about six or seven strands. We're going to tie this in right on top of the fly. This is going to extend pretty far back. And we're going to want this to extend past the hook. So let's go ahead and we'll finish our fly off here. And just kind of clean up the head. And I'm ready to whip finish. You can lacquer the head. Go ahead and put our hook on here. And I just do that by pushing the wire through the eye. And I slide the wire over the hook and pull the hook so it has a loop to loop connection. Now let's take that flashaboo and I want it to extend past our hook. So I just cut it just past the hook. And that is your 
your hobo spay. We tied it in a black and with a little bit of blue and purple in it. You can tie it in other colors. It can be tied in red, orange, chartreuse, other black variations. It's a very effective steelhead fly. Also works on trout as well here in the west. Eat it as a leech or a bait fish imitation. That's all there is to the hobo spay.